there. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's conversation is your relationship expectations should match your partner's. So that sounds like something, well, of course that's the way it should be. That's kind of a stupid conversation. But it isn't. People either go into relationships with a huge checklist, and if everything's not met, then they run away in the opposite direction, or they go in letting some of the biggest things that are important to them slide. You have to have very similar expectations. You need to sit down and talk about it. If you don't, you're gonna have two, three years down the road where you start looking at your relationship and questioning what you ever saw in this person. You can't let certain things go. If you think you can change a person because they don't have one really, really big thing that you want, that's probably not a good idea because for the most part, if you go in thinking you can change a person, they usually rebel and end up going in the opposite direction. If you want marriage or you want kids and they say they absolutely don't want that, if you go in and spend five years trying to convince them that's what they want, you're the one that's going to end up disappointed because they told you. You can't get mad at somebody if they've told you in the very beginning they don't want something, it's not important to them, it means nothing to them, but it's everything to you. And then they don't let it happen and you get upset and then your relationship breaks up five, six, seven years down the road. You have to be very, very careful. These are big scenarios that are happening a lot to people. They're spending a long time with somebody and then finding out the stuff they told them in the beginning is really what they meant. Don't ignore this. If they are the type of person that isn't romantic and you're a real cuddler and you like to hold hands and walk down the street and all those kind of things and they're not like that, that's a big piece of yourself to give up because that is important and special to you. Just because it isn't to them doesn't make you like a, a needy person or clingy. It just means that that's who you are. You're a touchy-feely person. You like to express your love in that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you end up with somebody who's not romantic, not very intimate, those are going to become huge, huge problems. Because any of those little things in the beginning become really big things. And if they're already big things to start with, they become deal breakers. And you don't want to spend your time with somebody that there's just too much compromising. You have to compromise a bit because that's what a partnership is. It's give and take, but not when it's something really, really important to you. A good thing to look at too is how is your relationship progressing along? Is it going quite smoothly or is there always sort of unbalanced situations and conversations that you're having repetitively because your needs or their needs aren't being met in an area that they want it to be or you want it to be. If you find that you're breaking up or you're having the same problem over and over again within your relationship, that is a huge red flag and big sign that you're probably with the wrong person. There's nothing wrong with going with somebody for a year or two years and then saying, you know what, I gave it a good shot, but it's just not working. It's just not enough for me. They're, the expectations that we both have are in opposite directions. It's so, so important to pay attention to this. Don't get caught up in all the romance in the beginning because you, you're attracted to each other, the sex is great, and all these things are happening. Take time to sort of get to know them and make sure that those high expectations that are super important to you are being met, and, and for them as well. It's a two-way street, and if a relationship isn't being met with, with both people being happy, it's ultimately going to fizzle out and you're going to end up in another broken scenario. So be strong with what you want. Be kind, be nice. But if it's not being met and you've expressed this to them and they've expressed it to you and you guys just can't get on the same page with it, it's time to move on because you can't keep beating your, your, you know, your things the way you want them to happen if it's really not important to them. It has to be a, a situation that you both understand and comprehend that it's important to the other person and that they get enjoyment out of it, doing it too. Like if they want to have kids or they want to move to a bigger place or another city or something like that, those things need to be addressed really early on. Don't think you can talk about it later after you've already committed to each other. 
because this is why there's so many unhappy couples splitting up right now is because there's so many things that we're all finding out about each other because we're around each other more than we normally are. It's very important that your needs are met with, with what you want for yourself as well. It's not just as what you want in a partnership. You don't want to be giving up too many things so that you feel like your life has changed drastically and you're not the person you were before you met this other your partner. So please make sure you go through the checklist. You're not too crazy about it, but you've got enough stuff that your needs are being met and their needs are being met and you guys have got a really great solid relationship together don't bury stuff under the rug that's really really important to you because you'll end up resenting it down the road thanks everyone for listening to dear cyber Sue today please 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 subscribe to my channel like the video and leave your comments thanks so much everyone bye